Hey everybody, happy Grammy Nominations Day. I'm Dave Paulson with The Tennessean, and joining me today is... Cindy Watts, Julie Toki. We're the Tennessean music team, and this is a big day in our world. The uh, nominations for the annual, the 2017 Grammy Awards were just revealed, and I cannot um, get over um, getting to say this list of artists. Here we go. Adele, Beyonce, Justin Bieber, Drake, and Julie... Sturgill Simpson. Sturgill Simpson. Those are the nominees for Album of the Year next year. And um, no matter how many years I do this, I personally was, was surprised by Sturgill's inclusion. I wonder what y'all's uh, reactions were to hearing that. My first reaction was, holy butt, <laughs> this is awesome. Um, I mean, he was nominated for a country record with uh, Meta Modern Sounds and Country Music uh, a couple years ago. But to have the all-genre nomination is, is pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. And he's also in the, in the country field, I know. Yes. Um, and, and that's another category that we got to get into in a minute. But yeah, I agree. Um, and the other thing that really strikes me with this is that he's not only, you know, occasionally there's a country person in these categories where you're like, wow, they're up against some big names. But he is up against literally like the biggest names in popular music right now, the most successful. You're leaving out, I guess, Taylor Swift and Rihanna, maybe one or two other people. But these are the biggest stars in music that this guy is up against, which so should be a very interesting. Uh, category. Is he the only one that does not have a specifically named fan group like the Beehive or Believers? <laughs> You're right. Or his own cologne. Now, what would Sturgill Simpson cologne smell like? <laughs> He's got a lot of stepping up to do in that that regard. You're right. Let's he does work not on have, it, Sturgill Simpson fans. He does fans. not have a uh, yeah a name. Uh, Sturgeons. The Sturgeons. Sturgeons? There we okay. go. Okay. So we're, That's we're terrible. Done. We're done. That is terrible. Um, Cindy, let's talk about country and what's interesting in this in this category or well, several think, categories. I think country too has a couple of nominations in the all genre categories. We have two, Maren Morris and Kelsey Ballerini up for top new artist. We're super excited about those. I think the uh, the threat is is if country music voters split their vote and half vote for Maren and half vote for Kelsey, and then country music wins nothing. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to see what shakes out there. And uh, in the country categories, it's interesting because four. Of the five top vocal performance nominees this year in the country category are women. Three of those are from Sony Music Nashville, and two of them are songs, sing songs about church. Mm -hmm. So we have a you know we have a theme going now in the top country performance category, and those nominees are Carrie Underwood, Maren Morris, Miranda Lambert, Brandi Clark, and Keith Urban. So which pretty blonde woman will win? <laughs> I don't know, maybe Keith will take it. Keith, he's the prettiest of them all. <laughs> so, oh God, I'm going to get fired. It's okay. You know, Keith Urban did tell me once there's nothing wrong with being a pretty boy. So I think yeah. he's, you know, he'll be okay he's with that. Company. Company. Yeah, cool. Um, I think the other interesting thing is there's only one actual duo or group in the country duo or group category. Everything else is vocal collaborations. Mm -hmm. So Brothers Osborne is up against Kenny Chesney and Pink, Dolly Parton and Pentatonix, Chris Young and Cassidy Pope, Dirk Bentley and L. King. So we'll see how that how that shakes out. And uh, Hillary Scott from Lady Antebellum, whose group won Best Country Doer group several times, crossed over from country into the contemporary Christian world and got two nominations for her first Christian album with her family, um, Hillary Scott and the Scott family is that name. Mm -hmm. And, and there's a film, right? They got right, American Saturday Night, the Grand Ole Opry's American Saturday Night film, which has Brad Paisley and Dirk Bentley, the band Perry, Brett Eldridge, and Darius Schrecker is nominated for Best Music Film. Go ahead and say it, Julie. No, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, all, all I'll say is good for them. They're up, some, up against some very tough competition with uh, Beyonce's Lemonade, which is the most acclaimed music meets video uh, piece of art that's been released in years and years. So, But good for them. It's great to be nominated. I, you know, so that's what I think sure. about that. Julie, in your world and elsewhere, what, what has stuck out to you in these nominations? Oh, man, I'm hoping that Lori McKenna's Year of Domination continues further. She's got um, an Americana Album of the Year nomination for her just killer record, The Bird and the Rifle, uh, another Dave Cobb-produced uh, masterpiece. I believe her song, Humble and Kind, is up for Country Song, Yep. Mm -hmm. recorded by Tim McGraw. And Wreck You, the opening song from the record, is nominated for uh, Best Americana Roots Performance. Mm -hmm. uh, moving over to Bluegrass, um, a lot of great records, but Doyle Lawson and Quicksilver are quickly, quickly becoming the Susan Lucci of Bluegrass. So I'm, I'm just really hoping this is their year. <laughs> <laughs> well, eventually it worked out for her, it so did. there you go. Yeah. yeah. Anything else? Oh man, Americana, 
the Americana Album of the Year category is pretty loaded. There's William Bell, um, one of the great architects of the Stax sound. Um, he tore it up at Americana this year. His record, This Is Where I Live, uh, produced by John Leventhal, uh, Mr. Roseanne Cash. Mm -hmm. Great record. Uh, Chris Christopherson, octogenarian, Chris Christopherson. Uh, Cedar Creek session that came out this year, um, Lori McKenna, and the Time Jumpers, Nashville's Monday Night uh, Staples, with their their kid sister record, uh, which is dedicated to the late Dawn Sears. So, cool. So it's a pretty tight category there. Yeah, um, yeah. So so that that sort of brings to light, you know, something we notice every year with the Grammys is that you know there are those huge stories. We're all all eyes are going to be on Sturgill and and that category next year, but there's all these little stories that come out and we always get an email or a phone call saying hey you should really you know so and so was an engineer on this record or played on this record and we find these little fascinating stories that are great and, and people that are getting their first uh, moment in the spotlight if you will uh, with the Grammys so we'll be on that and the big stories in the next two months to come I think this one's gonna be fun this will be a fun one to watch absolutely yeah see if this is the year for country music women we'll do it on the radio see if we can do it at the Grammys mm -hmm. or unless Keith Urban just ruins it for everybody thanks a lot Keith yeah, blue your color is huge it's I've much. heard that everywhere so yeah blue you, you never color is huge you never know um, one more thing to look out for but, uh, but thanks for reading and watching guys and stay tuned over the next several months we'll be all over the Grammys